How does it feel to be Vontae's on a vlog? Awesome. Are you going to do How to Get Along With Your Teammate? Yes, you do. As I stated before, the second grade teachers this year want us to do a flip grid kind of sending them a farewell. A farewell. A farewell. Good morning, guys. It is Monday, July 30th. It is around 6.30 a.m. Um, I just got into my classroom. We have an in-service today at my school. We are going over the Next Generation Science Standards. For those that don't know, Tennessee has just adopted um, new science standards. We had a training that was held over the summer that uh, really got into the new science standards and what they mean and all that stuff. But today, we are having um, district wide well it's a district wide in service but it's going to be at each individual school um and we're going to be talking with our academic coaches and looking at some of the uh, resources that we can use for our new science standards so today it's going to be dedicated just to that we are also going to be decorating for our back to school night we are also going to be doing a flip grid for my for the upcoming second graders um the kids that we had this past year um, that were in first grade, they moved up to second. The second grade teachers asked us to make a flip grid video um, just to kind of congratulate them on moving up to the next grade. Um, just giving them some words of encouragement about, you know, you'll do great, you'll have so much fun, the teachers are so excited to have you. So we're gonna be filming that this morning, then we're gonna go to our science training. Um, after that, I think we're gonna decorate a little bit of the hallway today. I also get my finalized class list today and I can finally go ahead and start calling parents and let them know that I'm going to be their child's first grade teacher this year. So that's also going to be something that's super, super exciting. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start lam laminating some things. I had to walk down to the teacher workroom and cut the laminator on and give it some time. So hopefully by the time I'm finished filming this part right here, it'll be done. But before I do that, I do just want to say uh, thank you so much to everyone who's been watching my videos, everyone who's been subscribing my videos. I mean, I gotta say, I've only been doing this for a month and I never thought that um, my channel would grow like it has. Um, if you guys have watched my first video, I talked about how the main reason why I wanted to film this vlog was for me to kind of capture my first year and always go back to it and kind of, you know, remember where I came from from my first year on. But I am really glad that a lot of you guys can relate to me and resonate with me. It is it's an amazing feeling to kind of, you know, see how many people are watching my videos and, and reading you guys' comments and being able to comment back. You know, I try to uh, respond to everyone that leaves a comment. You know, just thank them uh, for watching. If they have any questions, I'll try and answer that. But I just want to say thank you guys just for, you know, being here and watching me and supporting me and uh, just, you know, having this conversation back and forth. Um, I also wanted to answer a couple of questions that some people had for me in the comments. A lot of you guys have found me on Instagram. Um, <laughs> it's not a bad thing, um, but um, a lot of you guys have been DMing me some certain questions um, and I wanna just go ahead and answer that. So uh, two of the biggest questions that I get asked, um, one is where I teach um, obviously, for my district reasons, I can't tell you exactly where I teach. What I can tell you is that I teach in the Middle Tennessee area, but because this is a personal blog and because this isn't school affiliated, I can't tell you guys my school. I can't tell you guys the district that I work in. I can't do any of that stuff, but I can tell y'all do work in the Middle Tennessee area. Um, another question that I get asked a lot um, is, what kind of school do I work in? Because of, I guess, how my room looks. It looks uh, like it has a lot of stuff in it, um, a lot of instructional materials, and people just ask, you know, do I work at a Title I school? Do I work here? Do I work there? Um, and I just want to answer that super quick. So I work in an affluent school. I do. I work in an affluent school. Um, it's not a Title I school. Uh, it is a mostly Caucasian, a mostly white school. Um, there are um, other races that do go here, but it is predominantly white, I'm not gonna lie. Um, now, <laughs> although I don't mind 
um, answering that question, um, I do kind of get a little apprehensive just because um, me being a black male um, in the primary grades, a lot of people, when they ask me, they they kind of expect me to say I work in a Title I school or I work in an in, in urban school. And when I tell them where I do work, it kind of throws them off a bit. I could tell kind of like how their facial expressions are, or how their tone is, or kind of like their response to that. Um, and I guess the main reason is because they think that I'm a black male, that I should work in a predominantly African-American school, um, which I get because, um, you know, our younger generation really does need um, fantastic role models, um, fantastic role models that look like them in their lives. And not to say that I don't want to be near that at all, but my response to a lot of people that say that is that um, even though my school is predominantly white, um, as I said before, there are a lot of mixed races and other races that do go here. And I think something that's important to keep in mind is that not all African American kids go to Title I schools. Um, not all white kids go to affluent schools. Um, and it's I think it's really important just to have representation of everyone in every school. Um, I'm not gonna lie, there is one child in my class that I am just so excited to have. Um, he, he did have a kind of rough kindergarten year. I honestly, I don't know what it was, um, but I have him this year and I am super excited to get him just because I kind of think that because, not just, but um, the added benefit of me looking like him, the benefit of me understanding kind of where he comes from, um, I think that'll help him a lot with this first grade year. And I just want people to keep, keep that in mind is that just because I'm black <laughs> doesn't mean that I should teach at an all black school or doesn't mean that I should teach in a predominantly black school or there shouldn't be any, you should be here because of this. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know how else to say it other than there's more to it than, than just that. All right, so the sun has gotten a whole lot brighter in the past 10 minutes. Um, oh my gosh, I can see my shirt and I'm just like, Oh my God, I'm blinded by it. But I wanted to show you guys what I laminated. So if you guys remember in the last video, I talked to you about um, the Stellar Rights series and how I'm super excited to start using it in my classroom. Well, a couple of you guys have uh, commented on my videos and you've DM'd me on Instagram and told me that you guys have used it last year um, and it really helped your grades. Now, some people that talked to me, somebody used it in third grade, somebody used it in fifth grade, somebody used it in second grade. So. I'm super excited to kind of use it in first because um, I can always adapt it to what I need. I don't have to read the, like I said before, I don't have to read uh, the book at one time, but I could also kind of chunk it up and kind of use the stuff that I do want and not use the stuff that I don't want. So I'm super excited to use it. So as part of my writing focus wall, I kind of made this, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but look, it's Stella. So I'm going to hang it up on my writing focus wall, just kind of solidify um, the connections between what we're reading in Stella Writes and how we're using it for our writing. Um, so I'm going to have that up there just kind of as a reminder to put those two pieces together to uh, do our writing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut her out, put her up, and then I'm going to look at the resources that my district has given. So a neighboring district has made a website uh, full of information by grade. So they have uh, specific sites for the kindergarten science standards, first grade science standards, second grade, all the way up to eighth grade science. And then after that, it even breaks it up into the science domain. So it has a specific chemistry site, has a specific biology site, has a specific physics site. Um, and I think our district um, 
kind of got in connect with them and paid them to be able to let us use that uh, website as well. So I'm going to be looking over that website today just because that is mainly what we're going to be going over is the resources that are in those sites and how we can use them for our instruction. So I'm going to kind of play with that a little bit before we go into our uh, training today. And then we also have to do a Flipgrid. Um, as I stated before, the second grade teachers this year want us to do a Flipgrid, kind of sending them a farewell, a farewell, <laughs> a farewell, um, and kind of get them pumped up for second grade. So we're gonna be doing that all before nine o'clock. All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut out Stella, hang her up, look at those uh, science websites, and then when my team gets here, we'll do that Flipgrid. I will talk to you guys later on today. What's up guys, it's Mr. Kelly. I cannot believe that you guys are second graders. Like I cannot wrap my mind around it, but I know you guys are gonna have an amazing second grade year. You're gonna have such a fun time with your new second grade teachers. Just don't forget about us first grade teachers. Always, always come back and see us. I hope that you guys have an amazing year. I cannot wait to see how much you guys grow and how much you guys rock it in second grade. Have a great year, guys. What's up guys, it is. Tuesday, July 31st. Um, if you haven't caught it by now, I did not check in with you guys. Yesterday was super crazy. Um, we had a, like I told you, we had a science training over the new math, uh, new science standards that we're adopting this year. So most of the day was dedicated to that. Uh, we did that from nine till about, 1.30ish and then after that we got our class lists and uh, we started calling our parents letting them know um, that we're gonna be their child's teacher for the year some important dates as far as our open house our parent meeting my camera is crooked <laughs> oh man okay that's better um, but we did all that and then I ended up not leaving until after five o'clock. Um, so I looked at my class list and it actually, it's actually grown. Um, I think I told you guys before, I started out with 19. I found out Owen was gonna be moving, so I got bumped down to 18. And then I actually got two new students that registered um, this past week. So I am up to 20 right now, which is fantastic because uh, that was kind of my my goal for not my goal per se but um that's something i planned for but i plan for 20 so i have 20 things of everything just made um i'll probably end up today going ahead and did my camera move again oh my gosh it's moving oh my god why is it moving Shouldn't move anymore. Um, I'll probably go ahead and make a couple extras. Maybe you probably enough for 22, 23 students. Um, so maybe they need to go to Walmart and get more book boxes. I need to make some more folders. Um, luckily, I did order, I think, like 25 folders. So if I ever do get extra kids, I'll have the folders at least ready. Um, which reminds me, I need to go ahead and write their names on their folders. And I can actually go ahead and start labeling stuff too because now i know who's set in my class and i can go ahead and uh, assign them numbers without worrying about getting out of alphabetical order vlogging? yeah i'm vlogging <laughs> no you're fine i was just talking <laughs> no you're good <laughs> you're good i promise you're fine were the heads okay yeah they're really good awesome awesome so uh, I didn't think I don't think I told you guys, but we are um, doing a, a school-wide thing this year, and last year's it was um, space because of the solar eclipse last year. This year it is adventure. So every grade level is doing a different type of adventure. I know some grades are doing jungle themes, some are doing uh, camping. One of them is doing like a treasure hunt type of thing, which is super cool. Um, 
for first grade, we're doing Up, Up, and Away. Um, we just thought it'd be something cool and something different that nobody would um, do. And we have rainbows, clouds, we have the sky, um, and we are actually going to have our faces. Why is my camera moving? Oh my gosh, that is so, uh, makes me mad. Okay, let's see if it stays like this. Um, we are gonna have our faces on like different body on the bodies and we're going to be hanging from like balloons so it'll be like we're floating up into the sky so it's going to be super cool um, i'll probably get a chance to show you guys um we have to have it done at 12 o'clock um to go ahead and get the judging done but i think it's pretty good and i, can, I guess i can show you all the other grades too that'd be kind of awesome but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and finish labeling some stuff i'm gonna go ahead and label there supply boxes i think what i'm gonna do <laughs> what's up <laughs> nice am i in the vlog now your voice is <laughs> <laughs> i thought there was gonna be a countdown clock to when the kids get in here on your screen <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, to do, to do your tea. yeah i'm not there yet <laughs> um but what i think i'm gonna do is last year i kind of had just um student and then the number i think i'm going to go ahead and put their name for this year just put their name and then put the number beside their name just so that way um because we're going to be doing our open house tonight and they're going to be bringing their supplies i just want to go ahead and have them put it in their supply boxes and just to make it easier for them it's going to go ahead and put their name on it and then put their number beside it so that way it won't be as hard for them to figure out what their numbers in this classroom is going to be but i'm going to go ahead and label that well i'm going to print off every labels and stick them on there I just got done making my book box for my lucky number 20. Um, I'm going to make some nameplates for the mailboxes. And then in about 15 minutes, I actually have to meet with our academic coach. Uh, she's meeting with all the new teachers to kind of go over um, all the software stuff that we're going to be using for this year, which I kind of been using it. But, I mean, it's always good to kind of get a refresher course. So I'm going to be going to that in about 15 minutes at 9 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and then I will catch you guys later. What's up, guys? It is Wednesday, August 1st. Today is our very first day of school. It's actually our um, half day, and then we have our first full day on the 6th. But the kids still come today. We're still considering it um, a day of school, and I am super excited to go ahead and get it started. I do want to go ahead and say I'm sorry because, again, second time in a row, I said I was going to check back in with you guys, and I didn't. But there are good reasons why. So the last time I talked to you guys, I said that – sorry, I'm multitasking. Um, but I said – that I was gonna go and meet with my academic coach and talk about some first year stuff, getting ready for uh, the year and all that jazz. And I did meet with her, I, meet with her, I met with her and a couple of the other new teachers um, at nine o'clock and we stayed there until about 10, just talking about some different things. So I'm happy that I went to that. Um, then I got, I, I came back and I started working on my room. I started putting students' names on things. I put out, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I put out spots for our line, not only right here to go to that door, but also to go out the back door as well. Um, on the tile, there are some uh, line spots as well because I'm just very anal about, I hate when kids talk about how somebody stole their spot in line. And it just, I don't know, it just drives me insane. Um, but I just hate that, hate that, hate that. So my hair is a mess. I'm going to fix it later. Don't worry about it right now. I'm going to fix it later. But um, <laughs> I, I just despise that. It gets, that's one of my pet peeves. I don't have many pet peeves, but that's one when they argue about something like that. I just can't, I can't take it. So I went ahead and got that. And then, uh, like I said, I put labels on things. I started getting their packets for our open house night together. So um, some a survey about them, um, lunch choices uh, for the first full day of school, how they're getting home from the first uh, today, how they're getting home on the first day of school, um, and then just some other odd and odd and, blah, 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 blah. and just some other uh, stuff like that. Um, and it was really it went really well. Um, 
but I was literally getting ready like to the last minute. It started at 5.30 and luckily for me, I got finished um, at around 5.15, getting all our stuff together. And the reason why is because I ended up getting, um, as I talked to you guys before, um, over the summer, I had a, I had a temporary list, a, um, a working document, pretty much, of a class list. I um, mean, it had 18 kids on there. Cool, whatever, that's fine. I then get a finalized list yesterday, uh, not yesterday, on Monday. On Monday, uh, that is the day that we were, we got a finalized list. We were supposed to call all of our parents, and we did. Um, why is this not? Whatever, it's cool. Um, so, we got the finalist of the parents. I still had those 18 kids that I had, but then I gained two more new students that registered um, during you know, registration date uh, right before school starts. So, I got two more. So, I had 20, which I was cool with because I had 18. And I was like, okay, let me go ahead and plan for 20. So, that way, I'll have a couple extra. So, boom, I got those two. So, I was like, okay, cool, perfect. I don't know why that change it made me darker but i gotta change that back and i really gotta fix this hair so i got 20 so i was like cool whatever i don't have to worry about it well at about 4 30 the email might have been sent a little earlier but i read it at 4 30 um from our attendance lady and she lets me know that i get another new student so um i am up to 21 now and i had to hurry up in and get some stuff for, get his stuff out make him car some car signs uh get his little packet together put um his labels and his name and stuff on labels and get all that stuff so that way um he would at least feel like welcomed and that way he wouldn't be like oh surprise i didn't know i was gonna have you so you don't have anything yet you know i don't want him to feel feel bad or anything especially you know first first time coming to his classroom and not having anything so i wanted to kind of um have it the same as everyone else so went ahead and tried to get all that stuff together um and then after that i went i went home after that because by the time i let like it was over at seven i didn't want to stay any longer than i had to um i did have to talk to um the front office talk about some my some of my kids who are going to be bus um because they did not know what bus they were riding because it wasn't on their uh family account on skyward so i had to figure out what to do with that but we got it all squared away and then after that I went home I was not about to do any extra stuff so that's it I did wake up a little earlier today I'm not gonna tell you what time I woke up because it's very disappointing you guys would be so disappointed in me for waking up so early and getting here but I did have to go to Walmart for a couple of things um, so I went to the Walmart at my hometown because the one closest to the school does not open till 6 which I thought all Walmarts were 24 seven, but mm, I don't know. Um, but the one near me, um, near the school, I didn't open till six, so I went to the one back home. I stayed there for about 30 minutes looking for some things, and then I drove down here to uh, get ready. So what I'm gonna do is, like I told you guys, I went straight home yesterday. I was like, forget it. I'm just gonna worry about it in the morning. So I'm here now. I'm going to be marking off um, how they're getting home today. I'm going to be checking, making sure what they're going to be doing for breakfast and lunch on that half day. And then I'm going to start making some name tags for my kids. So uh, when they come in, I'm going to have name tags on my sitting table near the math focus wall. And they're going to be wearing that just so that way um, kids have a reference to who's who. I actually got kind of lucky because my kids were in here yesterday and they already knew a lot of people in this class. So I'm super grateful for that. So that way it's not going to be really awkward. Um, you know, that very first day, even that first week of school, everybody's like super quiet, anything like that. And I'm just so loud and, and all that. So I'm glad I don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and fill out some stuff about this missile breakfast lunch. I'm going to go ahead and get their name tags out, and then I'm going to go ahead and put their morning tubs out. Their morning tubs today are just going to be um, different math manipulatives, uh, lots of pattern blocks, um, some Legos and stuff, just stuff like that. Kind of see how they are socially, um, and just kind of assess how how they act um, when they're around other kids. Um, and then after that, we're going to get our day started.
So it is Thursday, um, August 2nd, and <laughs> I did it again. I ended up not vlogging after that first half day. And let me tell you, the half day went amazing. I am so excited for this upcoming school year. My kids are fantastic. We went over um, school wide expectations yesterday, and they were on it literally all day on that half day. Thank I, you. Yeah. Do you want? Um, but it was great. They did amazing yesterday. Um, I know I told you guys I had 18 over the summer. I gained, blah, 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 what was that? <laughs> I gained two more on that first, on that Monday where we had our end service. Then on open house night, I gained another one that got me 21. And then that first half day, um, yesterday, one of mine was withdrawn from our class. So I have 20 kids right now. Um, and again, I'm super excited for it. I can't wait to just get the ball rolling and, and start getting these routines. Um, I feel like the first part of the year is, is going to be the hardest for me um, just because I have to um, explicitly teach those routines over and over. And I feel like that's what the first you know couple months are going to be like, which, I mean, it's fun, it's cool. It's just not my force. I like to kind of jump into things um, <laughs> at first with no with no safety gear on um so i'm gonna have to you know just try my best to not rush into everything why is my shirt looking oh my gosh there we go um i just gotta make sure i don't rush into anything after our half day yesterday we did get a little break for lunch and then after that we did have um a half day in service afterwards and then we have an all day in service today where we're going to be talking about um different it things we're going to be doing a lot of planning for um the first quarter of the of the year and and just go ahead and ironing all that stuff out and just getting it out of the way before school actually starts on this upcoming monday um but we're gonna be doing that in service today and tomorrow i mean that got a fun time to put these supplies up now um for open house i gave them like a little clipboard that had uh, information about where to put their supplies and for um some stuff they're gonna fill out and then where to put their supplies. So um, put them in their supply boxes right here. And then I said for them to put the rest of their supplies right up here. And if you look, that clip art that I had on my board, I just taped it to these right here. So that way they knew where to put what. Um, I had so much stuff. I tried to put some of it up yesterday, but kind of out of time, but I Guess I'll just stay a little bit after today go ahead and get the rest of that stuff sorted out so that way um, on Monday we'll be ready to go. I'm also going to go ahead and finish putting um, some stuff in their supply bins because we did end up getting a little rush. Time was just flying by um, and we kind of had to just throw our crayons and stuff in there um, about 20 minutes before we had to dismiss. Uh, but that's okay. We got our crayons in their crayon boxes that I got for them. We got our scissors, our erasers. Um, our headphones in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put two glue sticks and a couple of uh, pencils in there for them so that way we'll be ready on Monday to <laughs> hit the ball rolling. Um, but right now I'm gonna go next door to my uh, team leads room and we're gonna go ahead and get some of our planning started. Okay, my guess is in my class, I'm hoping to be done by 740 because we won't have much time. Yeah, they'll still be eating breakfast. So Hey, what's up guys? It is 1.20. Um, as you guys seen, 
I have been planning with my team uh, this morning from about 8 to about 10. At 10, we had um, some more professional development with our IT guy um, about just some different technological things. We also had our um, math coach ready to come out and talk about, you know, the importance of number talks and different strategies and stuff like that that we could use. Um, some very useful information, some information that I've heard before, but it's always good to get um, a refresher course on it. So uh, that was some good trainings that we just sat in. Then we went out to lunch, um, and now we're back. Uh, this morning we did a lot of planning, like I was telling you guys, we did a lot of planning, ELA tasks, um, ri uh, not writing, math that we're going to be doing the first quarter of the year, and started to kind of look into some of the science and social studies standards that we're going to be trying to focus on for this very first quarter. And one thing that really came up was that um, my team and I are really good at uh, knowing what we're going to be teaching. We're really good at not having to have everything just written down step by step. We can look at a topic and we all kind of know what to do with it and then we all kind of just sit and talk about how we're going to implement that and we're really good at um, working as a team and kind of doing the same things. Not necessarily the exact same thing because um, you know we're all different. We all have those different personalities, different styles of teaching, but overall we're teaching similar concepts to where if you come into my room and you were to see me teaching it'd be something similar to when you go into someone else's room it might look a little different but the concept is going to be the same and we're and we're really good at handling that um but one thing we did want to talk what we were focusing on was um this year we think that our school is going to just be a little bit more um not strict but they're going to be a little more adamant about um lesson plans and turning that stuff in so what we're deciding to come up with and i want to show you guys kind of what i made okay so this is kind of what i've been working on um today so what we really wanted was a document to where we could kind of copy um not copy but kind of write down what our weekly plans for the week are um so this is just a little template it's not a um really detailed lesson plan where it gives you step-by-step -step instructions but we do want to have a place to where we could put um, weekly targets unit targets where we could put different number talks that we're going to be using through through the week different games we plan on using as far as whole group and small group instruction some of those center activities um, our daily lesson plans not as far like I said the detail plans but at least the topic on what we're doing on Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and kind of anything else that we're gonna be doing and then some homework stuff um, for science we are using the next generation science standards the NGSS standards that are putting they're putting into place this year so we're going to be defining our cross-cutting concepts our DCI's our SCPs and then kind of what we want to do kind of on a daily basis as well so we'll mark out monday we're going to do this kind of investigation tuesday we're going to be doing this experiment wednesday we're going to be doing this thursday friday so so for um so on and so forth just kind of that and then on the flip side of that we have ela and social studies um ela is going to encompass you know the reading the language the writing all that stuff right in here um, so again we're going to have our standards that we're going to be using um, any books that we're going to be needing for um, read aloud any type of dissections that we're going to be doing in those books um, our ela tasks so again it's not going to be very extensive in detail but kind of just like in the overarching concepts of that um, then we have our grammar so our phonics for that week our 95 percent lessons for whole group and intervention that's a program that our district purchased and that's what we're going to be using it for and then our writing piece what we're going to be focusing on that week and that probably won't change as much as everything else but we still want to have that concept in there and then social studies our standards for that and then our social studies lessons that'll go along with it so um not anything very very detailed but we do want to at least have that um beginning piece um to kind of map out what our week is going to be looking like. So that's what I've been working on for this, and I'm going to send it to my uh, teammates. That way she can start plugging some stuff in for the first couple weeks of school. Um, and then after that, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting up supplies because I've not put up school supplies yet. Um, they've been sitting out for two days now uh, since open house, so I need to go ahead and get that done. I'm going to be printing out some stuff for my other teammate. I'm going to be cleaning up um, in the room. And I think after that, I'm going to call it a day. So 
Um, I just want to show you guys what I've been doing, just kind of catch you up to speed on some things, and I will check in with you in a moment. All right, guys, it is about 7 o'clock. I've spent literally all day here um, just putting some finishing touches. I got all of these supplies. They're up. They're put away. They're supply boxes. I got those squared away, and I'll go ahead and show you guys one of them just to let you know how I got it. So there are three main components that uh, make up their supply box. All right, and the very first thing are their headphones, their pencil pouch, and their pack of crayons. Now, um, I'm not gonna put their pack of crayons in the pencil box just because we are gonna be using these a lot more than we will the pencil, the pencil pouches. So I don't want them to take the pencil pouch that has five or six different um, things in there and we just need the crayons. The crayons are gonna stay out for themselves. Um, in the pencil pouch, there are gonna be about five or six things. Um, they're going to have about five pencils in there. They're going to have uh, scissors, two glue sticks, a dry erase marker, a dry erase eraser, and some uh, regular, those two pink erasers. Um, and, then, and then headphones that um, are labeled with their name on it. So that way we have no problems with who's who's and no arguments. Um, I just want to go ahead and get all their stuff in there because our district is hitting the ball running that very first day of school. Um, that first week we already have math lessons that we're going to be assessing. We already have um, ELA tasks that we're going to be starting. And this is all still while we're working on routine and stuff like that. So I wanted to go ahead and get make sure all that stuff was prepared uh, for the start of next week. Um, we also worked as a team again this afternoon after lunch. Um, I know I showed you guys the uh, lesson plan template that I was making for my team. I'm gonna start turning this stuff off. And after that, we kind of used that to go ahead and plan the first couple weeks of school. So we have that all ready and done. And then after that, I just um, tried to straighten up some things and just try to think about what I wanna do for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my schedule cards. I'm going to make new ones for this year. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, sorry, finish putting some labels on some things. I actually need to fix a couple of my things because I had one student who is transferred out of my class, and then I have a new student that transferred in. So I'm just going to move um, my new kid in my old kid's spot um, so I just need to go ahead and just make some labels for him and just put him in her spot. Um, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then I'm going to go ahead and start making anchor charts for the first week of school. Um, I'll be doing that in the afternoon. So that's what I'll be doing. I'm going to go ahead and go. It is getting late. I think I've spent more than enough time here today. And I will catch you guys when I come in tomorrow. What's up guys, it is Friday, August the 3rd. Um, I just got home and I realized I did not film one thing at all today. Um, I do apologize, but you didn't miss anything. Uh, we had more PD uh, this morning talking about um, our bullying policies, um, different our different committees that our teachers are gonna be on. Um, and then we met with them. We went out to lunch, we came back and we just did our own little thing. Some people worked in their rooms, some people got um, some worksheets and stuff together for the first week of school. Um, so everybody kind of did their own thing. And then after that, we all left. So you didn't miss anything. I promise it wasn't um, anything too crucial. Uh, but again, I do apologize for not filming that for you. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here just because I'm super tired. I just want to go to sleep <laughs> and enjoy my last weekend before it really begins. So thank you for watching to the end. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.